Hello folks, Richie from Wild Astro here and today is garden camp day. Um, one or two people have asked about the hammock stand that I've built down in my garden so I thought I'd start by showing you around that and talking to you a little bit about how I've built it and, and what I've built it out of. So uh, yeah, garden camp tonight, this is Wild Astro. <laughs> Okay folks, so this is my hammock stand, okay? It is built very specifically for the space and for the requirements that I have. Um, I've built it out of two by four inch timber and I've used eight inch threaded bolts um, throughout the construction pretty much exclusively. Um, I've got no patterns for this. I've got no way of, of showing you exactly how, uh, how it was built. Um, I wish I had done a, a making of video. Um, but unfortunately it didn't occur to me to, to get the camera running as I was building it. Well, I'll show you as many angles of it as I can to give you an idea of, of how it's done. It's built out of, as I say, two by four inch timber. Um, I used 10 lengths of 2.4 meters uh, to build it. Um, up at the top end here where I've, uh, where I've put the hook um, for the ridge line. Um, that there is just a, a clothesline just so that I can leave it there 24 seven and, and don't need to worry about the, uh, the string rotting away. Um, and that's it. There's not a huge amount else to, to tell you about it. It takes my weight quite comfortably, although there is a little bit of twisting in the frame when I've got my full weight on it. I might reinforce the base, maybe put a second or even a third um, cross piece in uh, along the length of the whole thing, but I don't need to. It'd just be something I would do for my own uh, for my own peace of mind if I did that. Uh, and that's it, let's get it set up. set of circumstances that we found ourselves in. Hopefully not something that will ever be repeated in our lifetime or our children's, but who knows. Mm -hmm. 
So lockdown garden camping. It's uh, you know we make the most of what we what we've got, don't we? So you know I've got a fire lit here. My fire pit is just some some paving slabs raised up on bricks uh, with a nice brick uh, surround built around it. Just bits and pieces that I had lying around the garden, really. Um, built the hammock stand. Gonna sleep on that. It's all good. But I think we'd all rather be out there, wouldn't we? Still. I hope all of you are managing to find a way to stay sane, stay safe, and stay wild at heart. Good morning, everyone. Not a bad night's sleep at all. Pretty pleased with the hammock stand. I think I'll upgrade the hammock at some point. It's a bit short. But, uh, yeah, all in all. Nice night. I think I'll pretty much sign off straight away this morning, folks. It's, uh, there's not a lot to do other than break this lot down and uh, head back in the house. So, um, If you've enjoyed watching me uh, camp out here in the garden, then uh, give us a like. Uh, ask me a question, leave a comment, whatever you want. Um, consider subscribing to the channel. I'm getting as much uh, as much release as I possibly can in the current circumstances, so uh, gear reviews are going to be uh, pretty prevalent. It's going to be uh, me signing off from here, so uh, many thanks for watching. As always, stay safe. 
Um, I'm going to dedicate this one, if I may, to the teachers who are still out there doing their thing for the children of the NHS and key workers. Um, I used to be a teacher. I know exactly how hard their job is. And, uh, and I also know that every single one of them is as dedicated to their job as you could imagine. Um, so this one goes out to the teachers. Well done, guys. Keep up the great work. So for now, folks, this is Richie for Wild Astro, signing off.